We begin this game recap of Starfield and the Settled Systems, a region of space extending outwards from the Sol System for approximately 50 light years. In the 2050s, humanity explores Mars. By the 2150s, a method of faster than light travel called the Graviton Loop Array, or Grav Drive for short, is discovered. However, around this time, Earth's magnetosphere begins to destabilize, gradually rendering it uninhabitable. Humanity is then forced to use the Grav Drive to settle other star systems, starting with Alpha Centauri in 2156, which leads to the founding of the United Colonies, or UC, in 2159, the New Atlantis colony on Alpha Centauri's planet Jemison in 2160, and the colony's designation as the UC's capital in 2161. In 2189, a faction known as the Free Star Collective breaks away from the United Colonies. Around the year 2310, these two largest factions engage in a massive conflict called the Colony War. Smaller factions include House Varun, a growing, destructive cult which worships a deity known as the Great Serpent, the Ryujin Corporation, a near-omnipotent conglomerate with dubious ethics, Ecliptic, a shadowy and mercurial group of mercenaries, and the Crimson Fleet, a band of space pirates and outlaws. Twenty years after the Colony War, the United Colonies and Free Star Collective enjoy an uneasy peace. The hero of our tale, the Spacefarer, assumes the role of a space miner working for the company Argos Extractors, who have been commissioned by the Enigmatic Constellation, a famed group of galactic explorers, to locate an artifact with strange gravitational effects buried underground. After extracting the artifact, the Spacefarer experiences a vision propelling her through time and space, losing consciousness in the process, and later awakening to learn that the client is en route to collect the artifact. Shortly after meeting the client and defending the mining operation from a Crimson Fleet attack, the Spacefarer travels to New Atlantis, capital of the United Colonies, to deliver the artifact to Constellation's Lodge. From there, the Spacefarer joins Constellation in their quest to locate more of the artifacts, believing them to be one of the greatest mysteries left for humanity to uncover. Over the course of her journey, the Spacefarer has the opportunity to join various factions throughout the settled systems, including, among others, the UC Vanguard, a volunteer force dedicated to protecting United Colony space, and the Freestar Rangers, who defend the people of the Freestar Collective above all else. After meeting the remaining members of Constellation and collecting several more artifacts, the Spacefarer is directed to investigate an anomaly that corresponds with the presence of an artifact, but is significantly stronger. There, she uncovers an ancient temple and activates it, which gives the Spacefarer the ability to use supernatural powers. The Spacefarer then joins Constellation's benefactor and fellow member, Walter Stroud, in his efforts to obtain an artifact from the Pleasure City of Neon. After retrieving the artifact there, they are accosted by an unknown and unrecognizable entity identifying itself as one of the Starborn, a group of enigmatic beings. This Starborn demands the artifact, but the Constellation members manage to escape safely with it still in their possession. Constellation's mission to collect the artifacts continues, spurred on by the competition they now face from the Starborn. In an effort to increase their scanning range to locate more artifacts, the Spacefarer is directed to help fix the eye. Constellation's satellite station in orbit above Jemison. During this mission, the Spacefarer receives word that Constellation's under attack from another Starborn. The Spacefarer must then choose between defending either the Lodge or the Eye. However, no matter which location the Spacefarer decides to defend, one of Constellation's members still dies in the attack. Constellation then escapes with the artifacts, much to the surprise of the attacking Starborn, designated the Hunter, who allows the Spacefarer to leave, promising that they will meet again. Following a series of clues, Constellation tracks down the Hunter, who is meeting with the Starborn, which attacked them outside of Neon, known as the Emissary, about the Spacefarer's escape. Under a flag of truce, the Spacefarer boards the Hunter's ship and learns that the Starborn are not aliens, but former humans from a parallel universe within the multiverse that makes up all of existence. The Emissary is a parallel version of the member of Constellation who died in the Hunter's attack, seeking to control who was granted access to the artifacts due to their powerful nature, which is what led her to previously attack the group outside Neon in an attempt to recover the peace they had just obtained. The Hunter, on the other hand, believes in each individual's strength and freedom, with a person's own capability being the only determining factor of whether or not they succeed in obtaining all the artifacts without any control or oversight stopping them. 
Though they have different reasoning, both Starborn employ any means necessary to succeed in their goal of obtaining all artifacts in each universe they travel to, including chaos and murder. The Emissary and the Hunter reveal that whomever is able to assemble all of the artifacts within a given universe will be able to reach the Unity, the center of that universe, and the gateway to all other parallel universes. All Starborn have been competing for the artifacts across countless parallel universes for a very long time, augmenting their supernatural abilities granted by the artifact temples in the process. Excited at the possibility of exploring parallel universes, the members of Constellation become determined to retrieve the remaining artifacts before the Starborn. As a gesture of good faith, the Emissary directs the spacefarer to travel to the ruins of Cape Canaveral, Florida, USA, on the long since devastated and abandoned Earth in order to gain additional knowledge while retrieving another artifact. There, she learns that the first artifact was discovered on Mars by astronaut and scientist Dr. Victor Isa, who received visions from it which allowed him to use it as the basis for the creation of the original grab drive. Despite these visions also showing him that the Earth's magnetosphere would be destroyed from the grab drive's use during development, Isa knowingly proceeded, deciding to sacrifice Earth to push humanity into the stars. After obtaining this knowledge, discovering Isa's corpse, and retrieving the first artifact, the spacefarer is given a choice between allying with the hunter, the emissary, or refusing to ally with either of them, being forced to fight against whomever she refuses. The spacefarer then collects the remaining artifacts not already held by the Starborn, and confronts who she refused at the Buried Temple, a heavily fortified stronghold which contains the final artifact. Emerging victorious through either combat or negotiation, the spacefarer obtains and assembles all of the artifacts into the Armillary, a device which transports her ship and crew of other Constellation members to the Unity, where they each encounter a parallel version of themselves. The spacefarer's parallel version explains to her that by entering the Unity, she will herself become Starborn, a human who has passed through the Unity and become augmented by it. However, in doing so, she will also leave her native universe and everyone within it behind forever, entering another universe alone, where she will retain her knowledge and power, but be completely deprived of all her material possessions and relationships, forcing her to re-establish herself there and in any future universes she travels to after recollecting all artifacts in each one. After settling any unfinished business in her native universe, the Starfarer bids it farewell forever and steps through the Unity, emerging as a Starborn in a new universe full of new possibilities.